everybody, welcome back to Food of Dad Cube. Right, today I'm gonna to make you a beautiful, beautiful egg and bacon pie. Yeah, bacon and egg pie, I don't care what you call it, yeah. This is perfect. Let me show the ingredients. Right, here we go, here's the ingredients. Right, we've got a bit of salt and pepper, of course. Eggs, quite a few eggs in this one. So, some bacon, some oil, and some milk. And that is it, that's all we've got to do. It's a very simple recipe, this one, just fry it all up. What I've done is um, the pastry I've made it in, I put it into the um, into the fridge, let it rest. I mean, you know how to make the pastry. I've shown you how to do it in a couple of videos now. So just look back, make the pastry up, let it settle a little bit, give it a roll, blind bake it, and we're gonna pour all this kind of on top of it. I'll show you how to do it, okay? Let's go to the cooking. Right, we go, back to the old stove. A little bit of oil goes in the pan. In the pan a little bit warm. A little bit hot, should I say. Perfect. That's what I've done, I've cut the on bacon up. Just into squares, really, I suppose, you know what I mean? Lardons, whatever you want to call it, yeah? Oh, yeah, no, I, I mentioned it in the, um, in the beginning, but I put a couple of shallots in this as well. Why? Because I fancied it. You know what I mean? I think you can change your mind when you're cooking. I've got a few little shallots to be quite good in there. If you ain't got no shallots, tell me, mate. If you ain't got no shallots, about half an onion would be quite nice. Just push that in there, yeah? Perfect. Right, that's what you've got to do now. Just sweat these down, cook them down, make them a bit of Toasty. And we are quitting. All right, it's getting in there now, it's beautiful. It smells really nice. I'm glad I put them shallots in, it makes it a bit sweeter. I don't know why I put them in, I just thought, it needs something else. So, there they go. All right, I just wanna, I wanna brown these a little bit, or just, you know, not crisp them up, but just give them a little brown. Bring the flavor out. All right, they just started to color now, this is lovely. Here's a flavor out of it. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Right, turn that off. And just put it to one side and let it cool down a bit, yeah? But right, here we go. This is the case I've made. I've just blind, blind baked it for about, about 10 minutes, yeah? So it's got a bit, a bit crusty, so it's okay. It's not, it's not soggy, which is what we want, yeah? Because it's quite soggy, it goes on to it. So we want a, a nice base, yeah? So what goes on in there is just the bacon that we've cooked and the shallots I added separately. <laughs> Chef's privilege. It goes in there. We want to do that, you're going to break, I'm going to break six eggs into this, so I kind of want to make it, make some holes for them, you know what I mean? I've lost one now, that one's going to go there, that one's going to, steady, stay, steady, don't panic! One in the middle there, that's it, one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect! <laughs> well, that's what I'll do now, just crack the six eggs in and bosh them in, that side. The first one in there, beautiful! Oh, that one's trying to seep over to the other one, I'll get back! Get back, you bastard, get back. Right, one's broken, because I wanted to move that over as well, didn't want to break that, but I'm gonna leave that as well. <laughs> right, that's the exit. Easy peasy. There goes that. That's what I've done now. I put the rest of the eggs that we use out of the thing now, I've put them to a arm in here with the milk, a bit of salt and pepper. I'm just gonna pour this on top. Nice and gently. Let it sink in. I don't want to overfill these. If we can help it, that will be perfect. Right, that's it. That's what I've got to do now. Roll the rest of the pastry, because I'll put a bit of pastry aside. I'm going to put a lid on this, so just put the pastry on next, so we stick this in the oven. And there we go, just put the top on like that. This is nice. I did have a bit of mare, put it in, see a few, few patches. But put the old hair wash over the top. <laughs> One day I'll show you how bad I put that on. One day. <laughs> Yeah. One day I'll show you how bad I am able to cook. No, um, yeah, right. <laughs> Had a bit of a meal. Right, that's all right. I left it all hanging over like that because it's a bit full. And it might just stop it, not stopping it going over. Yeah, the old egg. All right, that's perfect. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, we stick this in the oven on about um about oh, I don't know 190 C would be fine for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes. Okay. Let's bosh that in the oven. Hey, there you go. Just come out the oven, still piping hot that. That is beautiful. It's really good and nice. You're starting to go a little bit brown there, so I just covered it in silver foil for the last 10 minutes. Okay? I trimmed off the edges, which caught a little bit. <laughs> I went too mad on some of it. It looks a bit better, trimmed it off. It smells absolutely beautiful. I can let it cool down a little bit, and we can do some tasting. Mm-mm.
Right, tasting time. Oh, smells gorgeous. Pastry, perfect. Really, really perfect. Have a taste. It's a bit off. Mm. That, really gorgeous. When I made it, I thought the salt, don't put too much salt in because the old bacon's a bit salty, but that. Burn the throat, it's so warm. It's gorgeous. And I say, and I say again, this, try it. Please try it. Fantastic. See you all later.